Hey guys, welcome back to the next episode of the top 20 so far fragrances that I consider worthy of repurchasing or that I have repurchased because I found them worthy. So I've gone through a few and now it's time to go through a few more. So the seventh fragrance in this list is this one right here. It is fingerprints off because it's a black bottle. Have I done it? Yes. It is Zeno by Davidoff or Zeno Davidoff because that's his name. Zeno Davidoff, that was his name. And it is a patchouli forward fragrance and it is quite remarkable. It is fantastic. Came out in the 80s and I never knew anything about it. It is not the original formulation of uh, the same one that came out in the 80s. I bought this one maybe about five or six years ago. Um, you can tell the original formulation because as you can see, the, the font of Zeno, it's quite sort of cursive. Um, in the original formulation, Davidoff is also in the same font as Zeno. In the newer bottles, as you can see, there's a difference in the font and it's the regular Davidoff font that they use across all of their products. So someone in marketing uh, got to them. Uh, and of course, when some slight changes happen on a bottle or on a box in perfumery, it usually signifies that a formula has been changed. And I'm not surprised given that this was released in the 80s, 86, I think it was, um, that it has been reformulated, but it has been done extremely well. Um, if the original was better, then wow, absolutely wow. But I am left not wanting for anything with regards to this. So when this big 125 ml bottle, which is actually a very, very well projecting uh, fragrance and I have had compliments from it. It lasts for a long time as well. If you overspray it, it gets quite medicinal, I find. Um, so be careful on the trigger. Um, but uh, I went through 125 mils of this because I think I wore it pretty much every day. I just couldn't stop. It was so good. And it suited me at the time. So when that finished, I thought I need to get me another one, which I have. And, <clears throat> and I don't know if I can see this, how much is left in here. I think I've made a little bit of a dent in it. I may have used up about five or 10 mils of this one, which I only purchased about two years ago. So just goes to show, Oh man, even the box is fragrant, but it just goes to show how awesome that fragrance is and how much I like it. It just takes me to another world, basically. The, the vibes that you get wearing something like that, it's, it's just, it's not, it's not nostalgic. You haven't been there. It's the feeling of nostalgia, but you haven't been there. You know what I mean? You probably don't, but if you want to find out, you go and get it. It's, it's so cheap as well. I think in terms of a value proposition, so far all of the fragrances that I've mentioned, this is probably number one in terms of price value, uh, you know, price to value ratio, let's say. So go ahead, grab it. It doesn't really matter even if it is a blind buy because it's just so cheap. So, uh, and it doesn't smell cheap. That's the thing. And I believe that there's a Tom Ford fragrance out there that smells very, very similar to this and is not cheap. Uh, yeah, Tom Ford. I have a few things to say about that brand, but not right now. So that is Zeno by Davidoff, worthy of multiple repurchases. So number eight on this list is L'Homme Ideal Cologne by Guerlain, which is this one over here. I had no idea no idea at all what was happening in the Long Ideal line. Never sampled it, never tested it, never had any interest in it. It didn't really interest me at all. Until I was in a shop one day and I saw this guy and I thought, hmm, it's a Guerlain. Quality should be pretty high. 
and it's, it's it looks like from from the actual box and the color it looks like and it's a cologne it looks like it should be a very nice and light and refreshing kind of scent i didn't look it up i just blind bought it it was 18 dollars for this 50 ml bottle at the time and i took it home mm, my god and i sprayed it on and from the first few seconds it had no harsh chemical opening it had no uh, alcohol smell to you have to so that you have to wait until it sort of it evaporates until you can get to the scent so it was very quality juice and it was so uplifting and at the same time it was creamy it was warm and it performed really well and it projected quite well and I've had compliments on this one quite a lot and at the price how could you even walk past it so i thought you know what this is so good i'm going to keep this one at home and i'm going to get another one for the office and this one's open as well just to top up so that i will wear this as i leave home and during the day if i needed to top up or if i needed a quick spritz to pick me up if i've been having a tough day as this would do, I would spray this on and have a jolly good time. And I find out why it's so cheap. It's because it's been discontinued and there's a lot of stock and people want to get rid of it. It was being advertised, these $18 bottles, as something like $93 off the recommended retail price. And I believe that because it's a Guerlain and the recommended retail price is only seen at department stores. So without any hesitation, I went and grabbed another one, which is yet to be opened. And that's why I have three. But you can still get these, even though they're discontinued, you can still get them. Probably not at discounters or anything like that, but I'm talking about the grey market, such as eBay, or if you're in Australia, Gumtree. Uh, you can still get them. People sometimes don't actually like the uh, fragrance profile of this um, you know, creamy almond and, and grapefruit and sort of lemony citrus opening. Um, but I love it. I adore it, and I think it's one of the best in my collection. And I go to it every now and then when I really want to feel happy. So um, yeah, given that uh, you won't probably find these about $18 uh, again, um, you'll probably be able to find them for about $40 or $50 now. And the 100 mil bottles, are, I've seen people who are ridiculous who are trying to sell it for $150. Um, that's not gonna happen yet because there was plenty of stock uh, everywhere when, when this was being discontinued. Um, and it's a fantastic scent. That's it for this one. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.